Hello, everyone. And welcome to Thirsty. Welcome to a very, very, very exciting bins haul. <sighs> we went to the bins it's... yesterday, and we did really, really well. It's not like we have, like, this single item, like, made our whole bins trip no, so amazing. No, there's a lot of items that made the bins trip amazing, yeah, which yeah. is kind of scary. Yes, instead of being, like, a single, like, we found Louie, we found a piece of Gucci or whatever, actually, like, the entire bins trip was just super was good so throughout. so good. It was yeah. such a good bins trip. And it was literally, most of it all came from, like, one switch out. Yeah. Like, one row. Yeah. Well, it's like, every single bin I went to was just, like, full of good stuff. It was crazy. Different kinds of good stuff, like, luxury good items, like, anthro items. It was just, like, everywhere mm -hmm. I went, for some reason, was just full of good things, which is kind of nice, because it's just, like, store fillers. Yes. Which is exactly what I was looking for. I got a lot of some store fillery stuff, and I also um, got some big ticket items. Yeah. Which is always amazing. You can find, like, an entire bin of stuff that you can sell for over $100. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, so we're gonna jump into it. We have a lot of stuff, so this might, her in. this might feel a little bit more like fast forwarded than normal because we really we gotta go gotta get through. We this literally stuff. have to go. We have to go to Des Moines after we film this video. Yes, it's just graduation, and it is Thursday day, so we also have to get this video up and going. So I'm gonna start with like my accessories, swim shoes, and my single bag, and this is all one bin strip. Everything, all is of one this bin is strip. one. And literally, my cart was, like, only bin stuff. We looked like homeless people. Yeah. We were I, just piling it on top <laughs> of everything else. I even kept in stuff I'm sending to the real real. I have not separated that out yet. So, this is literally, this is, like, like, straight up. I took up. out the consignment store. My, my stuff <laughs> that even has, like, spots on it I need to clean, haven't even done that yet. This is this literally. Is, this is straight up. Bin Farm to table, bin to computer. Yes. If you want anything, you can DM us on Instagram. You can send us an email, but just please don't comment it because the comments get lost. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so first up is this little coach quilted bag. This I actually think would be really cute as a fanny pack because you could remove this strap. But also, I mean, really like cute. baguettes are really popular right now. I like that fringy. But yeah, there. it's like a quilted jacket, literally. And the leather's actually super nice. So that's that. Then my only pair of shoes that I got, which is actually just what I wanted because I have way too many shoes right now. I found these really cute Dolce Vita single toe kind of like slightly wet. They look wet. like those free people booties yeah. that everybody's obsessed with. These are Thank ones you. that were sold at Anthro and they're called the Hazel Wedge. They're really so, cute. They are super cute. They do have like a square toe, which is in. And this leather is really soft. Shape. Yeah. A nice soft leather sandal. And then I will quick show, I actually picked up quite a few pieces of swim, so I'll just kind of count that as miscellaneous. So this is a really cute Nanette Le Pure bikini Le bottom. I only pick up bikini bottoms if they are spotless. We don't get them if they have any hint of anything in spotless, them. Spotless, if you get what I'm saying. Or if the liner before. is still in it. But you I do love get them. the sanitary liner. Even if the liner's not in them, if they're spotless, spotless, I will pick them up still. Yes. Like this. So this is a Nanette Lepore. I really like this print. It's super cute. It's, it's like so cute. It's like neon. It reminds me, nobody would get this reference. But Lady Gaga's art rave, she, you could buy this little like booklet of like her like photo shoot for it. And it was just like this. She was like super neon. And then there was like this black outline around all the pictures of her. Looks just like it. Fun. <laughs> then this is an airy swim piece. I love like airy swimsuits. Like uh, American Eagles line airy. This is a size medium. And once again, it is spotless. Except there's actually a few like storage marks that are like on the front, which honestly are probably from being at the bins. So I just have yeah, to wash them. There's a little, we call that bin gunk. Yeah. A little bin gunk, but yeah. not in the places. And it has like an open back, high waist. It's really cute though. It's a really cute little style. Yeah. This is like my absolute favorite swim this is brand the to thing find. In the world to me. It is this bikini top with this like I don't know if it's, it's faux leather, leather or real leather straps, and it is by Vix. Why would which you put a leather strap on a bikini love top? Love Vix V I X. Oh. And actually, I didn't even see where it said Vix. I just saw this logo, and I knew that was Vix's logo. Cute. Vix is so expensive. Oh my god, it's like a hundred dollars just a, an individual piece. It's crazy. This is a pair of size medium pink Victoria's Secret swim bottoms. Spotless. Spotless swim bottoms. They are scalloped hem, They're which so is super up. trendy, and tie dye is super trendy. So we that's why I got those. Uh, I think one more. This is Abercrombie and Fitch. Some Abercrombie and Schmitch. Which is not a brand I ever pick up, but I thought this is a really cute. It is like, really cute though. It's a push up style because it's padded. 
and it's got like the double strap on the front and strap on the back and it ties around your neck and this is a size small Hope and then crabby if it's like a cute style at the bib i can't go without finding especially one especially when you live as north as you can where we are especially we're when you live up we're not north. even that north you know it's love your melon with nfp the amount of collabs Love Your Melon does in Minnesota is insane. It's literally every I single business. I found Caribou Coffee one. Twins. NSP. I found like some like bedazzle thing. I find it's wild. So I'm waiting different. to find the Love Your Melon LuLaRoe hat and I'm just going to go flush it. <laughs> I'm just gonna it in the it. winter it'll be great but for no. now for now i'm like i just have to store them right now yes great. okay so there's a tail with these so this they don't have a tail they don't have a tail <laughs> this is the first item and if you're saying brian that looks like you took your mom's bed sheet and turned it into a pair of pants you would be correct um so i think we did it in a who wears this stuff we definitely mentioned this brand a handful like of times. forever ago and i legitimately never thought in my entire life i would ever find it plot twist when you go to the bins as much as we do um so the brand is magnolia pearl these have already sold for anybody wondering i am very sorry a lovely woman messaged me this what morning are they called? The they're called pantaloons i don't know what the actual i know she has like 1870s names for all her stuff oh. i don't know the name of this um so they are a pair of gray linen pantaloons and they sold <laughs> For a whopping hundred and seventy-five dollars, I listed them at two fifty. This woman was very nice to me, helping me with another item that I'm about to show you. Um, so I let her have them for a hundred and seventy-five because her sister took her other pair. The past so. like twenty-four hours, we've been like researching this dreadful. I dreadful have brand. never seen uglier clothes in my entire life than me googling Magnolia Pearl clothing and all the models. It's like you want to be a dolly uh. and a pirate. Yes, you want to be like a wooden doll while you also want to look like you don't have a home. If there is anybody while that actually be a watches or like likes the Magnolia Pearl stuff, this is just our opinion. Yes. I love, to each their own. You can. Install. I hope that you love it, and if you rock it, good for you. Magnolia Pearl people would probably hate like Moschino and stuff and think it's. Like I was gonna say they probably so hate this. Go off. But that's okay. I gotta go off on yours if you can go. Okay, and you can go so off on mine. here is the other piece. So there's a story with this one. So I found this literally right under the pants. And I was like, oh, it's Magnolia Pearl. I listed it as Magnolia Pearl. This is the, like, tag that she has. And usually there's, if it's a t-shirt, it's a longer pull-down tag. Or if it's a crop jacket. Or she does a silk, like, overlay with her label on it. That is not there anymore. So the woman that bought those pants very kindly um, sent all these pictures that I have of this to her representative, who's also best friends with the owner, and she's gonna go back to me. So hold tight if you are a Magnolia stan. Either way, it's leg and look, look to at the nth degree. But like, when I saw this, I was like, oh, Magnolia Pearl, 100%. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Like, also, I got a really nasty message from somebody in Posh that was like, take that craft project down. And it was like, <laughs> chill. Was it me? No, it was, her name was like, Eddie. Uh, it was like, calm down, Miss Ma'am. But yeah, there um, was like, there was like a whole row of lag and look. Yes. I don't know anything about lag and look. I did grab some of the yeah. pieces. Yeah, I have a few too. So you'll see. So them. if you want that, let me um, hear back from this woman. You'll see them come And up. yes, we will. Okay, so this is not lag and look. It is Nike. Back to normal. <laughs> uh, extra large. And I actually am obsessed with this. It's a black full length maxi dress and it does have the little Nike swoosh logo on the bottom and it does have a little slit in it and this material feels so soft like, like yeah okay and then these were on the floor and i was very happy about that so this is a pair of lou lou lemon oh god i'm saying i found some lou lou as well. um i have no idea as to the name of these shorts but they do have this really fun like silky the, like lining to it i love it. the contrast i know i love them they are a size four and they do have one teeny little mark like on the back i don't know if it shows up yeah so i'll oxy clean them and i'll spot treat them they'll come out it'll be great and then I found this pair of Hanes sweatpants. And you're saying, Ryan, why would you get a pair of Hanes sweatpants? Um, they are very popular and they sell very well. Especially when they look like this. And they're the ones that are already, like, pre-joggered. Like, somebody didn't do that. And mm. I am obsessed with these. These are a size large. So if you need your Hanes. I was going to say, if you need a fun pair of... And I apparently don't have access to, like... All the high art. school kids that I've literally ever seen that are, like, kind of trendy have, like, a pair of Hanes sweatpants on. My sister literally, like, spent actual physical money at a Hanes store. 
Hmm. I was like, what's wrong with you? Okay, I'll do one more thing. So Jack found this to me and threw it because he knows I like Urban Outfitters. Found this to me and threw it. Found this, threw it to me. There we go. <laughs> so the brand is Silence and Noise, size extra small, and it's just this really fun little... Which is Urban. Yes, it is. It's, it's this... like an older Urban. They still make it, but like... Not much. It's been around forever. Um, Debbie calls it Silence and the Noise, which I think is hysterical. But I these little pieces, I throw them up for, you know, 18 to $20, and they do pretty good. People bundle them. And it's them. a kimono. Yeah, like, and it's cute. It's, that's... you know, can wear it to the beach, can wear it over a swimsuit. So a brand that I usually don't sell myself, Vince... Usually I would send this to the real real, and a lot of you always comment like they don't take it. They do take it. You just have to try over and over and over and over. They do. Um, you extra them down. small, but these are really cute. They're leggings, they and they so actually cute. are flare leggings, but it literally only flares at the have bottom a little, like three inches. Like a little like boop. Yeah, actually, this is the kind of legging that was like these in are the fall really trend popular. report. Yeah. Yes. I sold a pair of these a while ago for seventy or eighty dollars yeah. in like a week. Bitch, stay tuned. We will have a trend report coming next. Yes, Thursday. we will. I'm so sorry. Week, We're just really week. busy. Start your countdown. <laughs> okay, so I found a bin donated by some wonderful, luxurious woman. I think this was Lagan Look Lady's mother. Maybe. Where those so bags? this is Ralph Lauren collection. The purple label Ralph Lauren and the black label Ralph Lauren are so freaking expensive. Like easily a thousand dollars a piece. Even polo can be expensive if you get the right pieces. The bears. But this stuff is like runway Ralph Lauren. Ralph Which, Lauren. Excuse us. I think I think that these are actually really cute. They're and really honestly, cute. the real real does take this label, but they don't mark it up at all. So I think I'm gonna sell these myself because I love this little pocket and this buckle. And I think this style is gonna do really. And good. these are unworn. Like they're so no way they've ever been worn. Or they she wore them like once to some function and then was like, oh, uh, trash. Yeah, they're literally they're beautiful. Like new. No, they've never been worn. They're silk lined too. They're wool on the outside, yeah. and then they have this really pretty gray silk lining. I think they're really trendy. Size two. And they even, oh, I, I almost them. thought they had a buckle at the ankle. They do not. I love them. Then, this is a real, real send in, even though it's another thing they don't mark up at all. This is Michael Kors collection. Another thing, if you didn't know, Michael Kors does have a runway line as well. And it looks like this the is what it looks label. like. It either says collection or it says made in Italy. But yeah, it's the same colors as the normal label. Michael Kors. These wow. are literally just silk black pants. There's not much I can do with them. Real, real is only going to price them at $50, but. They cost me nothing. And so. they were probably $1,000 new. And we found them in the bin. <laughs> Another Ralph Lauren collection, purple label. This is a size 8. And this is actually lamb suede. It's because so that's necessary. It's so soft. It has a patch on the elbow. And then it has this kind of like front panel <laughs> patch. And it does have, like, some light marks and a few spots. I mean, it is suede, so, like, it definitely wears very easily. Yeah, Especially but I mean... lamb suede. Suede's already delicate. Why are you going to make it out of another delicate This thing material? probably retails at about $2,500, which is, like, <gasps> crazy. For a brown button-down. So we jump into a few pair of pants, then Ryan can go. These are some super nice 721 high-rise skinny Levi's, size 27. And this is, like, Denim. the nice... Denim. If you, so if you get a lot of Levi's, you know that sometimes it's just nicer le uh, leather. Denim. The denim is... Oh, and these are really cute. I say denim. With the busted knees, people like that. And the raw hem. I know, I love Super these. Super cute, you get your fun... Ooh, did she have them cuffed? Levi's patch. I think she did. Cute. And your anyway. cute little V stitched in the back. Then, this is my first time finding this brand, but I knew I had heard of it and I knew it was expensive. Oh, I was it so is mad. called Maguire Denim. This is actually like almost exclusively sold at Anthro, but it's super, super expensive. It's ridiculously expensive. So this is probably a pair from Anthro. I haven't looked them up yet though, but they're kind of like that like yellowy, when they kind of make them have that like cowboy look where it's like almost their like yellow wash. It's a vintage wash. Yeah. yeah. Um, and their straight leg. That's their, I guess, back pocket logo. It's just a lot. It's like a- It's a bunch of lines. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun though. Okay, I'll do one more. And then this is a pair of new label American Eagle, super high rise, so like cute. mom shorts. These are so cute. These are gonna sell yeah, so fast. These are like, like, whew, sky high. Very Do they high. have a name in them other than my high? They're called the mom high, the high mom jean. Curvy mom jean for our Hi, curvy mom. moms out there. I love that. Okay. Oh, and they're a size, duh. <laughs> Those are a size 10, and the Meguiars are a size 27. Okay, so here's my other Lag and Luke. So I don't know a dang thing about Lag and Luke, but I was really attracted to the colors in this. I think it's beautiful. So it's. Ryan did try it on. I definitely did. <laughs> I sent a picture. 
in the group chat and I love it. Um, so this is hand painted Sakesos. I am so sorry if I butchered this name. Here's the tag. Sakesos. I have no idea. Hand painted in Mexico. But how beautiful is this? It looks like you could just take a pillowcase and cut a little, two of the sides. A little hole in it. But I love this. Especially because it's hand painted and I'm an art freak. And I yeah, no. To. This is definitely cuter. This is so pretty. And the linen is so soft. It's cuter, so well made. Cuter than that. That should not be named. And I did. She had enough mentioning already. <sighs> Miss Pearls. I did find another one that um, I think was her going out smock. It just had like food <laughs> down the entire it was white linen and I was like oh pretty and linen washes really well if you don't know but um, there was no saving her unfortunately mm. so I sent her back into the great beyond. So this I think also came from the same lady. This is an All Saints piece. Um, I have I th I'm like 80% sure this is how this is worn. But please tell me if I'm wrong. So it is pre-distressed. I did find the model pictures. There's some, like, stains and some holes and some wear and some tear all over. It's a size 12, which I really didn't think something like this would need a size. But there she is. It has the pockets in the back with the little dangly moments and the things and the... <laughs> Wagon look is literally, like, my kryptonite. Like, when Ryan's even holding these up, I'm like, like, I can feel reactions. I will body. say, I did I'm wear like, <laughs> all the Magnolia Pro pieces last night, and they are very comfortable. And you look like a homeless client. I, Debbie said, you look like you're from the circus. <laughs> I was saying, thank you, Debbie. Okay, so this is... Chaps, Polo, Ralph Lauren, but I pick up these like Western pieces because they do so good. They do so good. I even as Chaps, I'm sure it'll do good. I know. Um, this is a size large, and I love that it has like the funnel neck with these little like duty dads on them. Duty dads. Uh, the little duty dads. Okay, so here is a set. It is a chaser <clears throat> blue camo set. Here See, this are... is the kind of stuff we were just pulling out of the bins. Like, it was wild. It was wild. And this so, stuff is so, like, it's obviously not, like, worth hundreds, but just, like, such good stuff. And the fact that we found both pieces. I know Jack has a couple, I'll show you in a minute. But, like, the fact that we found both pieces in the set is yeah, wild. Or, they, like, they literally... these Levi's or, like, the Lulu. It's just, like, good the stuff. The Lulu was on the floor also. Yeah, so I'm also, like... Why wouldn't you pick and that like, up? Our bins are not always a hit. No. I mean, they are a lot. Most of the time. But like, remember when we were with Lori? We don't talk about that. We don't. Haul. We don't. We don't, we don't need discuss to, we don't that. Need to do haul. that. Um, so the pants are a size medium, and they're so soft. And the top is a size small. And it's just like this really cute little gray. It's really cute. This is a That's new tag. This is her daughter. New tag ASOS. The tag says petite, but this definitely is not a petite. It's just a t-shirt. Size like it says size zero US, which is like small, extra small. But how cute is this? It has the two t shirts like that have been sewn together. These and things it's have been super popular lately. I want one. I wanted Janet to make me a flannel and she wouldn't. And I'm so mad at her. Givenchy mm -hmm. did them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, a lot of. I think, a lot, Vemo, I think a lot I think, of people do. I think Vemo sort of it. Vemo. This is a pair of Chaser sweatpants, size medium, and they just got the cute little, like, heart. I love right the there. heart. And the. Oh, and they're so soft. And they're, yeah, that, like, Wild Fox Chaser, like, almost pajama, but I think people will wear them as normal clothes. If you wear them with, like, going out shoes, like sneakers, then you can go outside in them. But if you wear them with house shoes, you don't leave the house. And, like Ryan, even though it's a vastly different size, which is odd. I found the top. This is an extra small. The bottoms are a medium. So I mean, a medium on the but bottom. also Chaser is one of those brands like Free People where like Everything's every oversized. size can almost fit every size. Like they're just very oversized. Then this was in a bin of kids stuff and I was so hoping I'd find a lot more, but I only found this one piece. This was so this cute. This is so cute. It has like all of the little forest animal tracks on it and it is mini Bowden. They're so cute. Which I love Mini Bowden. And it's size That's four to f or it's four to five year. Oh, how cute is this so though? I thought it was cute. dinosaur footprints from across the way because I can't see. But I think it's adorable. This I grabbed because it just first off, it's so cute. It is really it's cute. also a linen blend. Oh, linen. But like look, the tag was removed. But I did my Googling, I did my research, and this is Talbot's, which is fine. It's actually Talbot's 2020, like from last year. I wonder and it's was, really cute, and it's a linen blend. So I feel like, like this was lagging look, lady. I will still sell that. So it's. I love the colors. It looks it too. like it's probably like a medium, maybe. We'll measure it. Then we have this Adidas T-shirt, a good basic. Love this is a size medium women's, and right next to it was this really cute Nike. This needs cute. to be washed because the K has a little bit of like a mark. She got a bin gunk on her. And this is a size small, but I thought that was really. 
cute. They're like really not faded. Like black, no. you know, black like fades. You wash it once and it turns gray. But these yeah. are like almost new. Okay. So next up for me is a pair of blank NYC <clears throat> distressed shorts. These are a size 25. I don't know if these were pants at one point or if they just turned into shorts, but they're so cute. And I love picking up jean shorts for the spring and the summer because they're amazing. I actually found a lot of pairs of jean shorts. So this is a pair of Harley Davidson jean shorts. They're just black and they say size 11. But I would say like a 10. 29, 30 is probably, like a 10. yeah, probably your best bet. And then I did find two pairs of Levi shorts, but I think one of them got buried. So this one says size 33 and I think that's probably pretty accurate. Yeah. So like 12, 14 maybe, but I love these. Just a good old pair of those have seen some good old pair of distressed Levi's somewhere. I'm in a pair of distressed Levi's right now and I love them okay so then Jack also threw this to me it is a, a silence and noise size small cute little pair of little shorties I love these this is a dress if you watched the Tuesday video where I talked about um and how I only pick it up with the bins this is why I only like to pick it up with the bins um so this is um size large and I love this little floral detail it has on it their embroidery is also really well done yeah. for just like a little boutique brand it's just a little tunic dress I think it needs to get linted linted or Lin de-linted de I'm gonna put lint back on the dress yeah just blow a fan with like sticky. I'm just gonna like take rub the, it with like honey take and take the blow thing out of the dryer the lint trap and just, <laughs> just rub it and just like put it through a parmesan grater so this is really exciting to find because i actually just found the same thing in blue like last week it's flora night cruise oh, which flora. is like a pretty expensive like sleepwear brand and it sells uh, it's kind of like notori honestly yeah that's what it is um and it sells at anthro a lot and this pair of or this pajama set is from anthro and i listed the other already as anthro so i knew that this was as well it's and so this cute. time it has both pieces and they are both a size small. And these are in more of like a gray. My other ones are like a baby blue. That is not a spot. Some lady really said, I don't need any of these matching sets anymore. Ryan relented these for me. <laughs> Parmesan grater. Just tell me when. Then we got more lounge wire. A size medium chaser. These are so cute. They're so... Stars I, the all the over stars. them. Oh, I love them. Yeah, I love these. The back has just as many stars, too. I think the chaser, like, printed stuff, honestly, does better than the plain stuff. Yeah. Size large. Made well. Super cute. Just shorts. Perfect for the season. Yes. If I can't sell them, I will just consign them. We got some more Ralph Lauren. Yes, we are still sick. I think this is my last day. This... I'm coming out of it, I can tell. Yeah. I just... I, I'm dry. I'm thinking... I'm a little dry. I'm thinking I'm finally gonna be okay soon. Um, black label Ralph Lauren, which I'm not sure if it's equal or very close to the Still same value. Expensive. Size small, leather trim, because leather. you just have to be bougie like that. And they're kind of like leggings again, and they've got these buttons on the bottom. These are cute. These ones I think I'm going to send to the real real. I don't know, I don't think I can sell. Brown is a very trendy color, though. I don't think I can sell them. These I'll try to sell. These are Theory, and that's actually the new Theory logo, the all mm -hmm. lowercase. That's like the old one, and now it's the new one again. Size 4, and these are like wool, just oh, classic blue pants. Ryan, of all people. I have actually sold a pair of Theory dress pants, again, for like $80. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah. I think I got them from a Mr. Box from Aaron. So I am going to fun. try them. Now, I will show you my two leg and look pieces. And I should have memorized it before starting this video, but I forgot to. So this is a brand called is it Renaults, one? I think. It's like R-U-N-H-O-L-D-S, Renaults. And this is called hmm. Renaults Black Label. It doesn't say Renaults anywhere on it. It just says black and the definition of black and label and the definition of label and there's bugs. Like and like people, why? Like I don't what, understand what does that signify to you? And this is a something. This looks like something the Texas Chainsaw Massacre What is this was zipper for? Does it zip? I don't know. This looks like something the Texas <laughs> Chainsaw Massacre would wear. It's got like the fun like kitchen pockets in the front. It zipper, does have like open pockets. And it weird. actually like, so like it's designed to look like distressed. It says that on the label inside, like it almost looks like dirty kind of. Oh yeah, but it's you can tell. To. There's some little like darker areas. And it literally says like, don't wash it because it's supposed to look like this. I don't know. And then the back, this is, so, okay. I don't understand it. 
I mean, it's worth a lot of money. Yeah. But I definitely don't This brand, don't get I guess, is all. actually really expensive. But yeah, like... It's all really expensive. I don't, I don't get on. it. I don't get it at all. I don't understand, Again, I don't understand it at all. Leg and look. This is probably my favorite of the leg and look the that lag, we purchased. The leg and looks. It is a brand called Ralston. So, like, Halston with an R. Cute. Size large. Is it a corn? <laughs> I actually oh. found the model picture for this one, and it is so... So unfortunate. Oh my god, is that what was on your computer? It looks like um Edna Mode <laughs> in a Christmas tree costume. It's so unflattering. I don't get it. But this is like a corduroy. I I like the corduroy. The corduroy is nice. Cute. The color's nice. This is like again, probably my least hated of the ones we found. <laughs> It has side pockets, and the description was literally like, it's a dream come true because of the side pockets. I'm like... Isn't Megan like, everything has a pocket? I think Isn't so. Isn't that something? They're like, you can just put food in here and lose it. That's what I would do. If I had like and look, I on all those pockets, snacks. Yeah, so it's just like this oh, really oversized... Like, that's a really pretty, like, emerald, though. It is a really It's a really color. nice green, if that's true. I will say, the like and look pieces are extremely well made. I may not personally agree with the style, but they are very well made. Sure. I will give that to them. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Next up for me is a brand that I typically don't like to pick up a lot, but I thought this was cute. It's Splendid, size extra large, and it's this really, I think it's a linen blend, I'll have to check. Really nice green camo hoodie, and it's one of those lighter hoodies, so it's good for, like, spring, summer, or if you want to, like, wear it with a jacket. I think it's a linen blend, if I'm not mistaken. It is not. I lied. I apologize. Okay, and then <gasps> this was in the lag and look. This was in the lag and look bin, which is weird because I wouldn't typically picture. When are we gonna be done with the lag? And I look? didn't picture this lag and look woman to be shopping at this particular store, but I can see it now. Um, so it is a Lulu oh, lemon. I can see this though. Like sweater poncho. situation. Yeah, poncho. Okay, so here's the little the little singer, mm -hmm. um, and it is literally a black. Knit rectangle box it's not a scarf, it does though. have sleeves not designated a, armholes not a scarf not a, a scarf poncho. um so there are like sleeves in it it's kind of hard to see because it's black yeah but like you put your arms in it and you literally just look like a big black rectangle it's very you look soft, like a sensor though. bar you kind you can of just put your arms out and you could like block things you could like censor a big like somebody's poster. being really annoyed you just oh no yeah Okay, so I have an accessory in here. This is a new tag Tony Lama belt. I know Tony Lama makes really expensive boots, and I picked this up because why not? Um, but it's this really pretty silver belt with this really nice, like almost rose mauve detail on it. And I think these are popular, and I kind of feel like this was Magnolia Pearl Ladies as well because she thinks she's a pirate. But I think it's cute, and it says size small. So Tony Lama people do with that information what you will. I also found a pair of jeans in the leg and look bin, and I actually am obsessed with these. Like, I think they're adorable. So the brand is Eileen Fisher, which I never thought I would be excited as I am to find an Eileen Fisher piece, but look at these beautiful jeans. I think someone did They're this, a size though. 14. I hope they came from an artisan. Yeah, I don't think... I love them. I love all the colors. See, so maybe she made that first flannelly denim thing. I don't think she did. But it she seems, made these. It seems... But it's not that I have a pair of jeans that I just I smeared paint on. I am obsessed with these. They're like a high rise. I don't hate these. No, these are adorable. No. But I also because of the customization. Honestly, even without the customization, they're not a bad. Style. No, they're really cute jeans. Um, but also most of my clothes have paint on them anyway. So yeah, Ryan also owns basically this pair of pants. I do. That he made as per Levi's that I just wipe ink on whenever I was in the studio. <laughs> so I found a Ted Baker, which is super exciting. I don't know the last time I found a Ted That's Baker. Really cute. The only issue, well, it has a couple issues. So it has like some discoloration to the. Front fronts on both sides mm -hmm. okay. so again like i said i have done no work on any of this no. yet so we will see if i can like bring her back to life i think we will and if not i can get something for it it's still ted baker so i'll just like sell it for cheap and have can. somebody dry clean it and yeah. it's a size one which is small small I maybe know. i should know the ted baker size chart <clears throat> by now I feel like I'm this is adorable. Them. This is so this cute. This is so cute. So this is an H and M girls and it is a size four to six year. And I just couldn't skip it. How cute it's got is flowers this and butterflies and bees. I love it's this. adorable. Oh. It's one of those things that like I just couldn't skip it. No. This was in a bin with a lot of anthro, so it probably is. It's cloth and stone, extra small, just like a sleeveless chambray. Top. A little chambray chain chop. Yeah. It's cute. Then this. Okay, again. 
A little bit of work needs to be put into it. We so. gotta wash it. It's this okay. is so cute. It's a US size four and it's postmark by Anthro. Oh, and it but look at her. is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with this. All of these are like, there's like little like orange pearls. I there's say, I embroidered love arrows. This is like that stuff that people like put on the like tableware and napkins and stuff, if you can tell. Oh, it's like a ribbon. Yeah. yeah. I it's just don't know. really, like really cool. These are beads. Going. It's so flower. cute. Even the hems got some Has that little blue wavy ribbon yeah. on it. And the flaw is that, yeah, she likes spilled her food on herself. Her baby did <laughs> So <work>. hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I can get that out. We'll oxyclean it. We'll be definitely doing an oxyclean this run here. This was a new brand to me and it looks quite expensive. Could be part of the lag and look situation. No idea. Let's not say that word ever again in our <laughs> lives. It's called Labo Art. I don't know. Never heard I of it. I looked it up and it was on a website that's expensive. <laughs> was it that Ukes? It's that pet aporte Or pret aporte I don't know. Oh, the men's. The other okay. aporte. <laughs> there's two. I don't know. It's and cute I don't though. think there's a I mean, size. like, nice little gray sweater. Yeah. I mean, I knew that label looked expensive. It's made in Italy. It's merino cashmere wool. Size one, yeah. so probably a small. Extra small. I don't know though. It I doesn't look it. like a men's. If that's a men's like no, designer it doesn't site, look like a men's I don't know. I gotta do more research on that. <coughs> this is a Madewell size medium, and I think I actually have this in my closet right now. It's cute. I love these sleeves. It's a sweater dress with yeah these like puff sleeves. These really nice puffy sleeves. Yeah, very cute. I like it. And I found a pair of Lulu Lemons. And they are black wonder unders. Again, this was just like the random stuff that we're just like pulling out yeah. of the bins. Like, I know. Whatever. We have to depill these a little bit. But no, like, yeah, these. A pair of wonder unders again, in the bins. Are I you haven't me? done anything to them yet. No, we literally. But especially, could you table. imagine this back in the, like last year, or two years ago? Oh my We'd god! Be like, I would have died. Okay, so next up for me is a t-shirt that I still need to do some googling on. So it's the hundreds, which is just like one of those skate t-shirt brands. But it's a collab with Clot. And, and Clot is You want to talk about expensive. Clot's really expensive. Clot is on the real real. That's um, how I know about it. So here is... The, and I love the graphic, too. It's just, like, vintage. kind of looks like a tattoo, almost. Like, yeah. dragon situation. And here is the Clot logo. It kind of looks like the Lululemon logo. It's like Lululemon and Bakugan had a baby. <laughs> or Liz... Cl it, looks oh like God, it looks like Liz Claiborne. It looks like Liz Claiborne. <laughs> It's like if Pokemon and Liz Claiborne, like, had a collab. It's literally like a Pokeball and the Liz Claiborne. That is actually so funny. That's so funny. Um, this is a size 2X, and then it does have this little, it says, the hundreds and clot on the back. And it's just plain in the back. So we will definitely have to do that, because I know some of the collabs between, like, regular t-shirt brands, like, really expensive t-shirt brands can bring, like, big, big money. Uh, so this is a J. Crew piece, and I typically vomit and run away when I find J. Crew, but I could not leave this there. I think this is absolutely adorable. Oh, yeah. It's a gray sweatshirt with these, like, I can't tell if this is silk or, like, silk-feeling material, like, ruffles on it. I think just I don't feeling. think it is. But it's so pretty, though. It's so cute. And especially, like, in the bin, if it doesn't sell, or, like, if one of you guys don't want it, like, I can take it to a consignment store. And still make some money from it. That's okay. Yeah. And it is a medium. Madewell and J. Crew are nice that way, where it's like if you do want to try the piece, you can always just consign. I was gonna say it. you just take it to a consignment store. Yeah. Okay. So I did find a couple of Florida Night Cruise pieces as well. Here is one of them. This is Flora by Florida Night Cruise, and I haven't looked up to see if this is anthropology, but it also wouldn't surprise me. Uh, this is a size large, and look at how cute this is. It's this really pretty like vintage floral print with this little polka dot kind of open. V-neck hem, and it has these really nice little three-fourths, like, baggy Even sleeves. if it's not anthro, I would still pick And up. it's so soft. Like, it's... Oh, yeah. Oh, my is. God. I would love to sleep in this. <laughs> but I won't, because that's weird. Okay, so I did find a pair of Fabletics. I don't... I think these are called the seamless leggings. Seamless cropped. I know these do pretty good, because people think they look like Lulu. Um, they, unfortunately, do not have a size tag in them. But I... Extra small. They're tiny. They're very really tiny. And I like this burgundy color, too. Burgundy's cute. Okay, so Jack threw this back, and I I couldn't do it. I couldn't leave him there. This is E.T. It's all good in the hood. Look at how cute he is. And it's new tags. It's from the re-release of the movie a couple years ago. And it's a really soft t-shirt. But I it just couldn't leave E.T. there. I remember I loved him when I was a child. And I couldn't do that. Poor E.T. Poor E.T. 
Okay, so this is an Urban Outfitters piece size medium, and this is, again, so soft. I love this. And it's this really nice little, like, wrap front crop top. Super cute. I'm just playing in the back. Next up for me, <clears throat> another kid's item. Again, I don't usually do it, but I am going to try to sell these myself as well. Oh, I just noticed it has a hood. Okay. These are Hannah Anderson, cute. and they're size 6 to 12 months. I love that she's finally putting, like, sizes I understand. They like. aren't, like just fractions yeah super cute little like sweater it's onesie so fair aisle and it has a hood with a little like tassel <laughs> he looks like um what was that children's book it was like was it like a hidden a red little one of those and you had the little like pointy hat on good question i remember it this is zara it's a new label zara so i'm gonna try it or else again zara is a good one you can consign if it doesn't Yo. do well it's kind of boring but it's new cute, label though. i, I like try that color. it Got another Lulu. Oh, I've sold this tennis skirt before. This is, yeah, like, just, like, the white tennis skirt. I don't know. People go AWOL for these little tennis the skirts. The size is... 10. 10. 10. I just, 10. I keep, every time I find Lulu, it's size 10. 10's across the board. Then, this I picked up just because it was in the bins. It's Kendall plus Kylie. It's size medium, and it's, like, an ultra suede kind of, like, draped top. I it's don't cute know. though. Or else I'll just consign that as well if it doesn't sell. Got another new tag Zara. And this is actually a size small. The other Zara was a large, I believe. But it's really cute with this like ruffly. I like the little scrunch like collar and top. the puff That's sleeve. Cute. Yeah, that mm -hmm. I think will do okay. Then J. Crew, which I also don't like to pick up. This is an XL, and I thought it was really cute. It's a Sherpa so... vest. It's so cute. Just needs some like I need to use a lint roller, basically. Mm-hmm. Zin, I do have one more purple label Ralph Lauren, and this is probably oh, this is the my one. favorite of them all. This one's a size small. Of course, it was in the same bin as all the other ones. It's a cashmere sweater, but it's not oh, just a sweater. You thought. Can I help? <laughs> because this is so long. It is a maxi. It's a turtleneck full-length maxi dress. Cashmere. That literally cashmere. Like, goes to the floor. So bougie. It's so well made though. So, oh my god. Like Steve Jobs as a woman. Oh <laughs> like uh, or Theranos lady. Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes, maybe? Yeah. So this is really, really nice as well though. I love this. Oh. This is a Madewell size zero. Super thick, super high quality. Wool coat with like leather trim it's so nice though this and is this the, leather is so soft this is the kind of made well i would always pick up like oh, 100%. this their coats and stuff do really it's well so this wool is like it's insane. so soft it feels like it's like a designer item like literally it feels and the a lot zipper more is super heavy duty super nice snaps i know Really, really nice. But also, Madewell coats are really expensive. Yeah. Oh, wait. I have one more thing. <laughs> Not as exciting. Oh, okay. So, American Eagle shorts. <laughs> and then this, again, American Eagle. But I think these are really cute. These, these are, really are really size... Big. What size were they again? They are the... Are XL? The 90s boyfriend XL. overall. That's right. And they're a size XL. I love a good pair of overalls. They're super, oh. super cute. And they are, like, baggy. I wonder <clears> if this <throat> is Magnolia Pearl Ladies, too. Maybe. During my research, they all wear overalls. Not surprising. <coughs> so that's all that we have for you today. No, I lied. I have two more things. Okay, so this is a leg and look brand. It is Krista Larson, and it is a big black hoodie. Literally, that's it. There's no other... I lied. There is a kangaroo pocket on the front. It has these regular sleeves, I guess. This is, I would say, pretty toned down for leg and look. Yeah. Besides that it's just, like, really flowy. Uh, size. Any size, honestly. <laughs> I feel like this stuff doesn't need, like, sizes. Okay, so this is a, a Madewell sweater, size large. This is really cool. I'm obsessed with this. I think the color, it's definitely a little bit more, like, pink Salmon. in person. But it's this really nice knit, like, little mock neck sweater. And usually when I find Madewell sweaters in the bins, they are a little pilly, and they do have a little bit of wear to them. But that one does not, which I was absolutely obsessed with. Jack found this for me, and I was very happy to take it. It is BDG Urban Outfitters, size small. And it's this really cute little, like, green and purple tie-dye thimble. I love these. Here's the other pair of jean shorts. This is a pair of Levi's 550, size 32. Is it a real size 32? Let's find out. Uh, no, I would say probably, like, closer to a 30. It's like a 910. Yeah. But this is, like, your classic staple. Levi, blue denim with the little fringy things on the bottom. 
pair of jean shorts. You cannot go wrong with those. Okay, so this was one of the first things I found, and I was over the moon when I found it. Disco ball. It is Dion Von Surf and Turf. We're hitting all the bases today. We had a couple of Lou Lou Lumens, and now we got a Dion Von Surf and Turf. And we both did have a full car. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so this is a full silk back, uh, silver full sequined top, little tank top, and it's size small. P is small, and I think this is the older Dion label, if I'm not mistaken. I think. I have no idea. Well, actually, that might be the newer one. But it's Because the long, so... thin one, I think, is now. Oh. That's older now. So this yeah. is new, I think. Or is it the other way around? Either I way. I think they brought this one back. Either way. I'm obsessed with this. I love it. It has this really pretty yellow trim on the sleeves and this really nice, like, peachy silk backing. And it was just in the bottom of a bin. Just crammed in the bottom. And I said, Miss Dion, come here. Get out of here. Bottom of the bin alert. Literally. <laughs> Okay, so my last piece that I want to pursue that I forgot about because it's in the bottom oh my gosh, of my IKEA right. bag, sorry. Uh, this is Flora by Flora Night Cruise, and it's this really super mega amazing soft robe with these cream lace sleeve details. Oh, I get why people pay a lot of money for pajamas. This is so soft. And this is a size large. So probably the same lady that owned the other floral piece. Okay, so this is my little pair of sandals. They are number six. Which I know is an expensive brand, but I've never found them before. And I, oh, I don't remember the name of these sandals, but they are still online for $259, Dang. which is crazy. And the color, I do remember the color is called Ecru. These are really cute. But they're so cute. Kind of like a little square toe with the little, like, as I throw on the ground, the little, like, wedgie platform. Oh, they're so cute. The patent does have a little bit of creasing to it, but it's not that bad. And they're so cute. What size are these? These are a size seven. Okay. And that is actually it. I don't have yes. anything else to my gear bag. We're going to call it here. Oh my god. If y'all know this, what to do. Like I said, this was all one. This was one trip. We were here for Just probably one, five hours. One four trip. or five hours. It was only like four. So like, that was a lot of stuff for four hours. <sighs> the first bin I went to was the one with all the Ralph Lauren. So it's like, it's going to be a good day. It was, I did find a lucky penny. And whenever I find a heads up penny on the way to the bins, or when I'm at the bins, I find amazing things. So. I better start dropping pennies and planting them so you can just pick them up and be like, it's going to be good. And then every bin strip is going to be good. And yeah. You're going to be like, why exactly. does Ryan get all the good stuff? Exactly. And I'm going to say, because I find all these lucky pennies. Yes. So <laughs> let us know what your favorite thing was of all the things that we found today. <sighs> I'm so excited. All of it is photographed and I do have measurements if anybody would like yes. to know. And thank you for watching. We did pass 40 minutes. So if you have been watching for a while and you know what that means, you know what to do. And we will see you guys on Saturday for What's Old Saturday together. But, but in my parents' house. <laughs> from Ryan's parents' house. It'll be great. So we will see you then. Goodbye. Bye.